Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's August 9, 2013. Let's get straight into the news with our top story. Austin, Texas braces for Al-Qaeda terrorist attack. Now, this is a story exclusive to InfoWars.com. Law enforcement agencies in Texas have received a special threat advisory based on information provided by the Department of Homeland Security indicating Austin, Texas has been singled out for a terrorist attack on Friday, August 9th, and that also includes Pasadena, California. Infowars.com reported that multi-agency homeland security drills will be conducted in the Austin area over the next few weeks. Now, we have the actual document we're going to show you here on screen. This is from the Texas Military Forces. Unconfirmed reports from the Department of Homeland Security has raised the possibility of random terrorist attacks taking place in Austin, Texas. According to reporting, Austin, Texas plans, the Austin group plans to plant backpack-style bombs on 6th Street on either the 8th or 9th of August. Now, this is a story that's plagued in controversy because we see this article from KXAN, a local Austin affiliate, and they say the threat letter was sent out by mistake. And it says the Texas military forces says the memo was received by mistake, and they later rescinded the memo altogether. So we have a question. You may be saying, you know, well, is the terror threat real? Is it fake? And, you know, I'll leave it to your discernment because we have law enforcement, as far as I know, they're still preparing for this very real terror threat, according to the, according to the document received by Infowars.com. Meanwhile, the local Austin affiliates are saying, no, it's not real. You shouldn't have it and pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. And it ties into this. This goes into the city of Waco. Police are now entering and inspecting homes to prevent crimes. And this guy was trying to, well, he wasn't trying to prevent a crime. He was actually causing a crime, but I won't go into that. You can look at that video on prisonplanet.tv. But it's the police state. It's all over. It's in Austin, Texas. It's, it's in Waco. It's in Colorado where they're saying that you can't own a gun if you live inside of a, a, a certain apartment complex. And it comes all the way back here to Austin, Texas, where people are very much concerned about these terror threats. So we here at InfoWars hit the streets to see what people thought of this terror threat. A force protection alert was released to the media by accident this week. What they didn't want us to know was that they were letting the Texas military forces know that a possible terrorist threat is set to take place this weekend in Austin on 6th Street. It's one of our busiest streets here in the city. They say that it's uh, going to probably coincide with the end of Ramadan and that it'll be backpack-style bombs. Uh, we all are quite aware of quite a few instances where there have been drills going on at the same time as terrorist activity. So we're going to go check with Austin citizens and see, do they think this is a false flag? Is this legit? Are they still going to go out and party? Is Al-Qaeda here in Austin? Who knew? What do you think about the uh, possible terror threat that's supposed to happen today on 6th Street? That's a little scary. No concern at all. Why not? Why not? Well, we have officials and law enforcement in place to handle that sort of thing. No, I never heard of first time. That doesn't frighten you? No. Doesn't concern you? Did you hear about it? No. Well, I hope that's not true. Wherever you are nowadays, you have to use some caution and common sense. And like they always say, go with your gut feeling and re report suspicious activity. So it doesn't concern me as much as it would most people. Did you hear about the Department of Homeland Security is going to be performing a lot of uh, terror drills in the next couple weeks in Austin? It's going to be increased military presence? No, I did not. They, they don't want news stations reporting going, look at all the military helicopters and everything so that the news stations know, oh, they're just doing drills. But what if something really does happen? Have you ever heard of um, the FBI doing false flag attacks to create terror events? No, I have not. No. I Operation Gladio, Gulf of Tonkin, we went to war with Vietnam. I did hear about that, and I also heard about it when it happened in London as well, that there was training on that exact same day when the actual event happened. But coincidences happen. So, you know, I think coincidences are coincidences, and they happen inevitably. Uh, today we were running an exercise for a company, and the most peculiar thing was we based our scenario on the simultaneous attacks on the underground and mainline station. So we had to suddenly switch an exercise from fictional to real. Just to get this right, you were actually working today on an exercise that envisioned yes. virtually this scenario. Uh, almost precisely. Drills on the same day that 9-11 happened, it was uh, all the planes um, that were flying, they were doing drills of that exact same scenario of a terror attack taking place by people plying, flying planes into buildings on 9-11. No, I didn't know that. I'm not a real conspiracy theorist. This is an article out of USA Today. 
and this report came out on April 19th, 2004. NORAD had drills early like September 11th, Pentagon Trade Center, among imagined targets. They were doing a drill in the exact same area on that day. That's a, that's a fact. That's not a theory. Yeah, I know that's a fact. What do you think? Uh, now I'm thinking they're probably trying to say it's a drill so they don't scare the citizens. What was the school shooting recently, that, that one? Sandy Hook. They were, they were like within 20 miles. Right, they were also doing a drill. Yeah, and that's kind of... Of a school shooter. Exactly, exactly. That was, that's weird. Well, what would you think if you saw a military helicopters and guys jumping out of planes and got tanks coming with guns? Because that's what is happening here over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I'd be getting, I'd be running the other way. That's what would scare me. I really don't, I'm, I don't, it's not my, I'm not concerned. It doesn't bother me. That's out of my hands, you know, that's, I leave it to my military or my president, I guess. All right, well, it seems like a few people were concerned with the terror threat and the homeland security exercises that are going to be taking place in Austin throughout the weekend and over the next couple of weeks. But most people, they're all right with the huge military presence in our town if it means they're going to be safe. For the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News. And over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.